Mosquitoes seem to really love me. Unfortunately, I don't feel the same way. This is supposed to work. Let's find out. It says do this, and then this, and then this, and then this. Okay, it's been like a month. It definitely worked. Here's what happens when a mosquito bites you. Mosquitoes are one of the most annoying insects, and they kill over 100,000 people every year. When a mosquito lands on you, it will spit on your skin, numbing it, so you don't feel a thing. Then it will stick its six razor-sharp needles into you, cutting through your skin. After that, the mosquito will try to find a blood vessel to suck from. Once it finds your blood vessel, it will inject you with saliva to prevent blood clotting and to allow the blood to flow freely into its body. The itchy red bumps you get on your body after a mosquito bite is caused by an immune response from your body to the saliva. Now comment if you've ever been bitten by a mosquito. Tonic water, the stuff that I make my gin and tonics with, is actually one of the oldest malaria remedies in the book. And its main ingredient, quinine, is still the best treatment for many, including for pregnant people. Quinine was the first recorded anti-malarial drug and infectious disease treatment. These days, people mostly take it as a medication, and there's a lot less of it in tonic water than there used to be. The drug stops malaria before it kills you by targeting the parasites that cause malaria before they can develop in your body. But scientists are still unsure how exactly it does that. Other treatments have been developed but people can become resistant and they can stop working. That rarely happens with quinine. The downside is that if you stop taking it, the malaria symptoms come back. Plus, it can be dangerous if you take too much at once. The smallest toxic dose is 3 grams in adults and 1 gram in children, but there's only 83 milligrams per liter of tonic water, so you probably don't have to worry about that now. Take it in moderation, quinine has saved a lot of lives. Plus, it glows under UV light. It's mosquito season, and I just saw a video about somebody taking like 15 Benadryls and blah, 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 saying you can get rid of bug bites in an hour. I can help you get rid of bug bites in less than a minute. I used to live in the South for a long time, and I learned this from a friend of mine. So easy, so fast. All you need is a cup, a spoon, and a little bit of water. Microwave the water for one minute. Stick the spoon in the water for 30 seconds or until the spoon gets hot. Take the spoon, press it on the bug bite. Make sure not to burn yourself. What I like to do is tap it until I can tolerate the heat so I don't have a burn. When I can tolerate the heat, I hold it as long as I can. The heat from the spoon breaks down the enzymes in the bug bite that causes the itching and the swelling. I swear by this, I've used this technique for years. I hope it helps. Guys, check this out. Mosquito Sniper System. We're here with Ryan. Ryan, what do you got, brother? Hey, guys. Uh, so we're turning a leaf blower and a tank sprayer into a mist blower where you can get DIY mosquito treatments to your lawn and your house to keep the bugs out of your house. It's very simple. It uses tools that you guys already own, and it replicates an expensive backpack mist blower. Wow. Okay, so basically it's just this thing in your hand, and it connects on here. So we connect to wow. all the major leaf blowers or tank sprayers and it converts the trigger over to a hose and we just came out with a new design that adds mist nozzle tips right away. Wow, so you're getting four mist. So you're going to get four streams of mist coming out in a, in a wider pattern. Can I use this for things other than mosquito stuff? Absolutely, you can use it for uh, weed killers, liquid fertilizers, liquid de-icers, anything you can put into a tank sprayer, you can use with this. Sweet, mosquito sniper guys, check it out.